Good evening. This is kind of a simple, straightforward one. Somebody uh, asked about uh, landscape and deck designer. Oh, version 9. Okay, it's even worse than I thought. Let's see, I upgraded. Okay, I upgraded to version 2012. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. This may not be much help to you, but uh, <clears throat> like Lou said, I have all the, all the titles. <clears throat> we'll just open up and see what's what. There's a new plan. And uh, the only thing I only thing I could find, there's a couple of ways you can build a slab if you wanted to in landscape and deck designer. One way, the most straightforward way, is uh, just draw a house. And uh, Let's see, yeah, we'll look at the overview camera. And it kind of uh, automatically puts a, a slab there, but it's just uh, stem walls and so forth. And that's a virtual one, it's kind of automatic. To get something like a slab slab, you would go to, after you have a first floor established, <clears throat> go to the build menu and floor, build foundation. And then you can pick from this uh, walls with footings, that's the default, or a monolithic slab, click OK. And there, there's a slab. <clears throat> we'll look at it again in an overview. Uh, so there's your monolithic slab seen in an overview camera, as opposed to the uh, stem wall and footings and so forth. And that's it. That may not be what you want, but you didn't say what you wanted, so... I'm just showing you what's available. <clears throat> uh, there's not even a dollhouse camera in uh, landscape and deck design, just a glass house. I guess you could look at it. That way, there's the monolithic slab, there's the house. Okay. The only other thing I can think of, we'll go back up to the first floor, is the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, terrain tools. And it draws a feature. Let's take a look at that. Now features by default come in with a material of concrete. There's that feature. And this can be, uh, in this dialog, you can give it a height, let's say uh, six inches, and uh, make it eight inches thick. That's about the closest thing you can get to in a slab in uh, landscape and deck designer by using a terrain feature tool. <clears throat> uh, I don't think landscape and deck, yeah, I can't make that into a curve. Uh, an arc, I mean, <clears throat> there's no line to arc to like in some of the other titles. But if you wanted to curve it and so forth, you could use, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the break line tool and uh, grab that. You get the idea. That's the break line tool, left click, and left click on the line or the edge. And you could, I guess you could make a curve that way. I'm not going to go through the tedious process of putting lots and lots of breaks in there to curve that up. But that looks like a slab, and it could serve as a slab. Nobody would know but you it, that it wasn't a slab, but it's a terrain feature. But that's that's about all I could figure out in uh, uh, landscape and deck designer. I don't see any other tools up there uh, like you under CAD. You could go to CAD tools. <clears throat> with the arrow tool and make a closed polyline, but you don't have any tools to convert it to a slab in landscape and deck designer, so that's not uh, really all that useful. Let me close that. Okay. It's a closed polyline, but there's no commands here to convert it to a slab like in um, architectural or pro. So that's kind of a dead end. You can't help it, but all you can do with this in uh, landscape and deck designer is give it a fill make it uh, solid white, so you can make it a, a white out box, I suppose. Make the lines white. White out boxes are just for covering up things you want to cover up. As, <clears throat> so, that's about it. I'm sorry there, there's not more, but I mean, Landscape and Deck Designer is one of the least expensive titles they make, and so therefore it's, it's one of the least able. But uh, I think uh, terrain feature, 
our, our uh, build floor, build foundation, and then you get to, you can choose which type there. Once the thing's built, then you, you can resize it manually. <laughs> built, built a roof over it. Looks kind of, I'm sure it'll look kind of funny. Yeah, there's that slab. So you just automatically wanted to build, build a roof over it. So this isn't a tutorial about everything under the sun, moon, and stars with, with landscape and deck, but just that, that terrain feature is the only thing I can think of. Or you can build a slab uh, using the foundation tool and uh, assign it stem walls with footings or monolithic slab with footings. That's about it. I'm sorry there's not more uh, functionality, but that's the functionality that you paid for. Thank you.